We're starting our day with Team Impulse versus Enemy Esports. And Impulse ended Even the week. Even they're behind in gold, they're still able to achieve dragons. Whether that's a prioritization problem mm. uh, is half of the truth. And look out, Flares. Ooh, could be first blood. Flares, does he have the dash? I don't think he does. He goes down. That's going to be impacts. Perfect timing as well as dragons happening in the bot lane for Enemy. Easily blowing that arcane shift and in range with in range with spirit brush. Yeah, and it's not like he oh. can bring cleanse. He needs to bring smite. Trashy waiting. Throws down the drunken rage. Can't get the kill onto Apollo. Oh. Nice glacial Fisher actually keeps him in range. I don't think they'll have Adrian here or any teleports coming in. Stand United was up, but Flares was in range of impact. The mid lane, the, the mid lane turret going down. Benefits greatly for Rush's ability to counter jungle. Oh man. Oh, body drop. <laughs> Gonna get just that. Kind of suspended in midair for a second as he gets knocked up, charmed around, and hit up right onto Inox in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Flares is the next target. Trashy just used the all the bot lane. Gonna have it up in a few. Does he decide to Rip use up. it? Continue the fight. Triple kill coming in for Rush. And it Lord, looks like they're trying Roger. to up. Where's the all from Trashy? Can he get, a Can he get the pentakill? Going in. Shao no. and Shao's gonna take the turret for him. They're giving it. Salami. Oh, he goes no. in. And Shao oh, so and Shao close. steals it on the accident. So Woo. close. Rush wanted it. Oh boy. Well, this game just went completely in Tip's favor based on a ridiculous series of events in the mid lane. This is why you let Rush play carry junglers. And this is what he should have been doing. All split. Inox picks one up on the backside. That's going up for him. Full build for damage. Yeah. Looks like they should have the Baron coming up. Trashy may try to get over the wall, but he doesn't have any good safe way to get out. It's going to have to be a flash if possible. Very low, goes in a little early. They're going to stop the damage onto Baron. Good communication coming from Impulse. It's just a slow walk back to the fight for them here. Flares gets the stand United out for just a few more hits, but Body Drop goes down. The rest of the team doing what they can. Inox cannot get enough peel. Adrian Whoa. on him, Impact on him. He will finally go down as Rush makes his way over. If Flares and Otter have made their way to the bottom side of this fight right now. And baby, that was crazy. Rush is on the hunt. That was not Rush. a good jump in. Well, there's the Zhonya's play. Impact can stand in front of it. Oh. It's not a big one, so the rocket doesn't go off. The hook to come around the corner. Impact waiting for the dredge line. He does have the angle once he gets around this to take down Flares. But 0-11 yesterday, not stopping. Great KDA coming out of Rush. The momentum carries over from week to week for him as they now have enemy on the front doorstep. Adrian taking a bit of the turret right now. He's going to want to get out of that one, but he's a big cow. And they should be able to keep poking enemy down. They can't stay. 10 to 3. Enemy's done a great job at kind of try to stave off the deaths that are coming their way, but it's not stopping Impulse from getting movement on the map, gaining whatever they want to. Body drop, that was a charm through the shield. He's still going to take quite a bit of damage. Apollo gets hit, but he's got a huge front line, and Otter cannot make anything connect. Over the wall goes Shao Wei Shao, and down goes Inox. Body drop's going to get the Orb of Deception, but it looks like he gets taken out by some Foxfire. Rushes in, maybe a bit too deep. Yeah, there goes the neighborhood, though. One yep. charm on Inox through the Shenolf. The incredibly fed Shao Wei yep. Shao can just take him down. Uh, really great job right here of Team Impulse punishing the inadequacies of the mid lane Ezreal in yeah. some instances and really taking a very strong and decisive victory. One of the best games Impulse has played all split. 31 minutes and they're looking at an 18,000 gold lead right now as they trample down enemies base. They're on to the Nexus. What a clean game, clean finish. Impulse is going to take down enemy. Wow. So Impulse did not look like a 5-5 five five team that game. They looked much better than that. As we make our way to our next match, it's Team Dragon Knights versus Team Solo Mid and TDK. Nothing Lust Boy would have been able to do, and they're actually trying to focus Keith now, the new member of the team. Moved in, that's the one they wanted, but can it hold him the whole time? He actually got a really nice spell shield on the majority of that damage. Is it a finalizer? The bomb goes off from explosive shot, and they take down Keith first. They came back for a rinse and repeat there. Or kill the turret. So now we might see a bit of a shove. And that damage is starting to come through. Oh, boy. Don't stand there. Oh, Flash is out. Oh, the Chaos Storm goes down. Bjergsen gets baited into the trap. Man. He has a Flash down. He's got to be very careful about how he roams right now, especially with that blue buff. I'm sure Bjergsen wants oh, that very bad. And he actually might get himself a blue buff. This could... Bjergsen actually 
jumped away Look from that point moves. quickly, knowing that Ninja could kill him, and very well so. Ninja could absolutely kill two members of their team. Kaz a little too deep now, takes a hit from Bjergsen. They're gonna have to focus this one. The damage trade not so much going in their favor anymore, but wow. Ninja with the fancy beat. Death keep charge. Going. Can't let him do much. The shield coming oh. in from Seraph to save his life by the skin of his teeth, and he goes down for it. It's like a, a small misstep. Ninja shouldn't have been up that far, but then he almost turns it into an outplay. Oh boy! And they are no. way you, in enemy lines. That, this is a, that. That's pretty disrespectful. You do not back in Team Solo mid's jungle when you don't have vision of Team Solo mid. A big mistake here from TDK. Did they use summoners? They tried to use uh, a few summoners to get out of that as well. So, innings teams in the LCS. Uh, but this is the approaching the power spike I'm, for Midland Ezreal. I'm glad we get through. TSM as their second game because it will for sure show us where that meter stands. That's a big boomerang going back across. Kaz gets hit up and blasted out as well from the fight. Santorin's trying to back up with the rest of the team. Now Ninja comes in. Chaos Storm on the entire team, but he gets deleted immediately. Oh, Ninja Half Health is going to make these fights almost impossible yeah. to start on. We saw it just took a Q and an Essence Flux in the last fight from this amount of HP to take him down. And now TDK is walking Kaz on caught. thin ice. It's turned into hot nails. It's not going to get any easier. Lust Boy, however, going down, cools things up a bit. And it looks like Ninja now trying to get on the run. He dodges oh, ice moves. Centaur Body Slam. Amazing. Ninja's been doing it all game with the fancy footwork. Chaos Storm just about stops as it has nobody else to chase. Dyrus looks to go down here. He gets stunned up one time after the other. Emperor a little too close to the fire that time. Bjergsen with not enough mana to complete this. Even with that Elixir of Sorcery on, the damage is going to be big, but not enough to win the fight, and he is forced off. TDK winning one in their own jungle. But he held his ultimate. I think Ninja surprised himself with the damage. That was a 100 to 0 opportunity. Oh boy! Had right there. Emperor. Oh boy! Jumps into a hook. Lust Boy says, Oh, and now Dyrus with the flank. This is bad for TDK. Dyrus is right in the middle of the fray. Gets a good slay on, or slow, I should say. And it looks like Smoothie's going to be the only one to go down. The rest of the team's able to disengage. That could have been a lot worse for TDK if they tried to stay and fight, but they knew. Kaz just on the outside. The pink ward's there. He cannot even get close without being seen. Baron still pretty low. 3,300 health on that. They're going to be forced to peel off. They throw down a little bit of movement speed. Nice shot coming out, taking down Ninja. We're going to see Seraph going down as well. Kaz is going to get hit. The Baron doing a lot of damage. Dyrus just gets out. And it looks like TSM pulls off very nicely. Keith was lost in the battle. And Emperor has already broken 300. Looking at now 50 CS in just a few more and has quite the lead on his lane. They go again on to Dyrus immediately with really out any, way, out any way to get to the back side of the team. Bjergsen has time to fire from the back line. True Shot Barrage goes off, hits Seraph, and all the crowd control's done. DPS is ready to roam free now, and where does it decide to go? Shot still onto Dyrus. Ninja finally takes him down, and they are focusing very well. Keith is forced to the back line. Kaz may not be in a bad spot for a Lust Boy hook here. That's Bjergsen coming through with the Arcane Shift. And a lot of the poke these teams are able to deliver, especially Ninja's laser, in a part where they haven't organized enough to do that over and over. Oh, he wants Bjergsen. He knows his arcane shift is down. He was trying for the one shot, but he missed him. Flash away from Bjergsen. Might have just cost himself the life. Wild Goat goes out. Boomerang goes across. True shot barrage for the finish. So many things that can come across to kill you. Ninja goes down. Smoothie goes down. And like you said, Jad, I was only going to take one good fight. TSM could have that Nexus. Home guard teleport coming in for Dyrus. They want the game now. Oh. Not giving him time to recall. Pops all the Banshees fails. If there were any, Emperor goes down first. That's the Trist. It's going to be Ninja next. Does he go down? No. Ignite. Actually stays alive. Gets the shield coming in from the Lulu. Seraph able to keep him there, but Smoothie was already too deep. As well as 320 armor. It's all about the peel. Right into the fight. Pulverize right onto Santorin. They push Keith back into the pit. Baron actually has stopped aggro, though. And it does not look like he'll take any damage. Ninja a little far forward, gets knocked back as well. Who is going to be winning this fight? Lost Boy goes right in with the Righteous Glory, plays everybody backwards. Is it in range for Team Solo mid to keep the fight going, though? Kez can't get in range, neither can Seraph. And it's only Smoothie that's gone down in the initial fight. And TSM has such a front line with Dyrus right now. That Are they, they ready, can't though? Get through. They, they want they TSM to engage. Kez coming from the back line. Agony's embrace on the full team. TDK got everything they wanted. Bjergsen down for 77 seconds. Dyrus in the middle. 
Backside is Keith. He's not able to put out the DPS. There's the Zanyas from Seraph. Keith could go down. He gets over the wall, flashed and bumped. And it looks like he will be able to get out. But what do TDK get from this? Aspect, they could go right for it. The fight, it's still theirs. Dyrus goes down and he's not BMing any longer in that fight. 15 to 10, 50 minutes just, crest the clock. And TDK are gonna pick up Aspect. Playing for safety here, but TDK. This is their dream to get Aspect of the Dragon. It would easily start to allow them to push back towards Team Solo mid, but they're taking way too much time. You're gonna get the respawn. So, you're gonna get True Shot Barrage yeah. in a fight you don't want. TDK wants four people here. So much so that they sent Seraph back to move speed Emperor towards the Dragon. He went all the way to Red Buff to meet him here. Here comes the True Shot Barrage. Across Will the it steal? Entire team. Woo! Very nicely done. Over by They're gonna Emperor. get it though. Spread of the way! You gotta be kidding me. Santori comes up huge. Aspect is stopped. That is a complete game changer. TDK almost had the means to get into the base of Team Solo mid, but they once again stopped that fate. Very, very close for Keith, but he is able to get himself out nicely. Yeah, and this is a big fight at the Baron area. Smoothie. Trying to tank up with Alistair, but that all's gonna run out any second Looking now. Look at the DPS. Smoothie's taking about 100% now of his health, and nobody on Team Solomon even took a shot over the wall. They all focused the cow, and the rest of TDK ran away. Seraph's already gone down. Ninja gets grabbed. What a hook from oh, Lost Boys to keep the fight going. Kaz is actually big enough to take down Bjergsen. That's a lot of damage to keep the fight going, but with Keith, they can still drop the turrets, and the rest of the team, TSM, yep. should be able to move into the base. Four strong. And Emperor plus Kez, the only defenders. This is a tall task with all of the CC that can fly through from Lust Boy to stop this one. Do they go for the game? They need the minion wave to arrive. It will be there in time before yep. TDK respawns. So right now you can actually see Emperor's Banshee's Veil coming back up, but the visual is that it is on him. It's TDK Inawa. needs to kill Keith, otherwise this game is over. That's one Nexus turret. 54 minutes in, TSM actually had their backs against the ropes a few times in this one, but they are able to stomp their foot down one last time. That's going to be Emperor where he doesn't want to be. Team Solo mid struggle a little bit with the middle game, but are able to come out with a victory. 20 to 11 in kills, 54 minutes in, and Team Solo mid take down TDK. What a crazy game that was, Riv. TDK putting up their best fight, but ultimately they can't take down Team Solo mid and that ridiculous Ezreal build. So the day, Cloud9 versus Team Liquid. Obviously, all eyes are on high. All right, so Cloud9 still just trying to play the ward game as best as they can. Bot lane not looking great. Special will land Lemonation, forcing the pop. His ulti TP comes in from this hyper-powered Fizz. They look for a special, and he does have Flash. He flashes towards the river. Fizz Shark is on, and it's going to find Quas for a bit more damage. Pops the shield, flashes the wall. Counter engage on the balls. The knockup goes through. First blood goes through to I will dominate. And will the fight continue? Gold card just barely nicks him over the wind wall. I'm not sure how, but Nick Special knocked oh! around. The kill goes back through. Sneaky helps with the assist as the kill goes through to Lemonation. Flash of the wall. Phoenix goes down. Can't quite get the tornado off. Now three members alive under the turret low on health. Patience will let C9 they're, get all three of these kills. They're trapped, Freak. They're keeping them trapped inside. But they go early. Lemonation doesn't have an ultimate. He just goes in, gets himself killed for it, and Piglet and Dominate fighting back. It's one for one so far. The kills will come through. They get all three indeed. That's going to be a massive fight for C9. Great call for the sacrifice right there. And we may even already be seeing the effects of High back on the team. And Cloud9 going to be able to even up the Dragons here as with all the extra, ooh, wow. Nation goes on Piglet once again. He knows the flash is still down because he burned it last time. Careful though, because he's going to get jumped on right there. Dominate trades the kill back. Liquid. We'll see if C9 even continue to play this, this style to look for an open lane. And they are going to look ah. for Quas right here. Shark is on, half HP, Lich Bane, a lot of damage. Quas got nowhere to go, but Balls is quite injured. Gets away. Patience is a virtue, Freak. I finally get my double solo lane play there. <laughs> Cloud9 are able to make it happen. They combine for the play up top, get the kill, get the turret. They're going to go for inhibitor turret while Team Liquid take dragon number two here. These are, recalls. these are two Sheen-empowered solo laners, guys. Yeah.
Easy to clear turrets, easy to clear waves. It's gonna be starting to get low. And looks like the recalls got stopped. Cloud9 stopped the recalls. No one got back until just now. Mid lane outer goes down as well. And Cloud9, they sacrifice the dragon. They give that one away. But Incarnation gets jumped on by a special. The fight continues. They turn right back around. One picked up. Piglet on the chase. Misses the Q. But he's gonna get the double oh. kill. Yes, he will. <laughs> double for Piglet. Control uh, with Phoenix being down right now, though. Oh, and Balls is on the hunt yet again. The Nafquas. They're gonna find him. Balls losing a lot of health. Puts the shark down onto a special. Stays alive so far with playful trickster battle. Continues. Quas does not have that much damage though. He's not gonna kill off Balls. That's the wrong place to go for Quas. Fight oh. continues. High gets away after stopping. I will dominate. But Lemonation, one hit away from dead. Fossil bomb won't hit the rocket. Won't do enough damage either. And a 12 health cow walks away. Does not get to get into ground beef teams. Right now, though, Cloud9 really holding him back here. Baron being attempted. Knockup comes in, elimination buying as much time as he can, but Dominate is in range to steal, so C9 pulls off. The kill goes uh -oh. through the hook onto Balls. In comes Phoenix as well. Whoa, a two for zero. Team Liquid get back in. They've got the combo, and they get two very easy picks there for Team Liquid. When Cloud9 finally pulled the trigger on Baron, they, that's probably going to cost them Baron here. Interesting teleport play. They want to oh. trade Baron for it in Inhibitor. That would buy them some time. Team Liquid, all they have to do is finish off the Baron, though. That's a bunch of gold. They'll have Baron-empowered recalls, uh, and then they'll be able to shove up with uh, the Baron buff. So, yes, Cloud9 are going to try and get that inhibitor, and they will get it off of the trade, but so it's a very... <laughs> yeah, all right. Resign yourself to death, my Give friend. an assist. Give an assist. Phoenix, team play. He's trying. All right, solo kill. It's a risk for Cloud9. No wind ball means an easier team fight. But health is slow going down. Whoa! Flash engaged by Special! Dives right on in, dies for it. That seemed really miscommunicated. Fish Shark comes in, double knock up here. High still in the front lines. I don't know if they want this fight though. Cloud9 in a 4v5. Balls knocked up in the back line. Sneaky's gonna go down as well. What a great fight. Team Liquid get a triple kill on a Phoenix. Piglet gets a fourth. Only incarnation left alive. Team Liquid get a lot off this Baron buff. So that may be uh, in the cards. TF up top. And you can see the amount of damage they did to Quas here. The uh, large amount of damage belt Void Staff third from the TF as well means they can push this. But of course, in comes the rest of Team Liquid. Oh, they're getting teleported on. And there's nothing the rest of Cloud9 are getting for this. They got the dragon off the split. That already got uh, taken down. And now Incarnation's forced run away. Quas TP's back in. He's going to die through the Zonias. And C9 is going to do what they can to get wave control back. Incarnation will respawn in time for Baron. Oh, here comes the Lemonation. Oh, Combo breaker number one. Phoenix with a lot of damage. Shark comes through. The exhaust on balls means not much damage comes through. And Lemon will go down first. The trade that I will dominate. Oh, Survives with the locket shield. And the hard engage picks up three. C9 gets shattered. And Piglet on the chase towards high. They're going to get at least a turret here a lot more likely. The retreat will be a little bit awkward. Piglet's low on mana. And C9 are respawning. And Dom is low on health. Oh, oh. he missed the anchor. Multi on a sneaky, the knockup comes through. Phoenix with a lot of damage, but doesn't get any kills just yet. High flashes and tries to run. The anchor lands. Piglet gets another kill. Windwall stops the damage. Another one for zero. Now Team Liquid maybe can just go Baron. All right. Through. through Shark hits Quas. In comes the engage. Baron's a bit low. Elimination going to get jumped on. Balls oh, goes down. Ball. C9 go for the desperation stop on Baron. They don't get almost anything for it, though. Sneaky tries by what time he can. Incarnation does knock a kill down, but it's another three for one in favor of Team Liquid. Sneaky on the run. Knocks back what he can. Can't quite get the kill. One hit left on the Oswo. A triple kill for Piglet. 50% of the turret health goes down. <laughs> Most of Ball's health goes down. Dominic goes for the ultimate, will not land a combo as Alistair was disruptive. The engage comes in for C9. The desperation fight comes through. Phoenix dominating, still will not go down. Finally gets killed, but it's still a three for one in favor of Team Liquid. Here comes the dive, here comes the chase. Piglet gets another. Kill goes over to the Gragas. Triple kill for I will dominate. And turret number one's going to fall. Turret number two to follow. That's gonna be the game. 41 and a half minutes and Team Liquid improve yet again, beating up Cloud9. Woo, yeah, and congratulations to Team Liquid. Sticking to their guns once again. Counter Logic Gaming versus Gravity. Now after making Team Overall, vastly improved performance from him. This split, here comes Ooh, the Smithy. Flash pulverized into the choppers into the head, but Altex got nowhere to go. 
First Blood goes over to Smithy. <laughs> Wasn't really part of it, but I guess he could take the 400 gold anyway. Yeah, we did get to see that combo we were looking for with the Alistar into Jinx, though. Yeah, and CLG able to bully that one away. Just a simple 3v2. Also, Pobelter was roaming over first. But now look at this, the Shenalty in towards Haunter. Uh. Move is here as well. Easy er, e, er, early equalizer used. <laughs> That's the words I was looking for. Kill goes over cleanly. Haunter holds aggro. Very, very tanky. Yeah, Zion would be at 100 health right now if not for that. Everybody trying to move down for Dragon, though. That's why we're seeing the rotations through the jungle. Oh, big hook, big shockwave. Keen gets the kill. Move with the heels, Position. healthy enough. Position in on Dragon. Haunter, just a giant front line. Gets knocked up, takes a lot of damage. Shockwave oh. catches the front line. Smithy's down. All tech on the run. Keen as well. They're grouped together, but they won't go down. Double Zion reset. Martin. No. Keen is one hit from dead. The crit comes through. That one won't, though. And CLG lose a kill, but force the team away. A near miss in the javelin. A near hit to be. Just now. builds the tension. Yeah, they are. They are going to be able to take that. Oh, uh -oh. Afro really aggressive. Gets locked up well. The Javelin doesn't hit, but Move still gets the kill by diving in for himself. Zion Spartan low on health. Can't kill off Move. Mid turret goes down. Double does not land the zap. A good dodge there. Gets rooted up. Gives dissonance. Gets the kill. One Krona is not enough. Buddy Fubu to take it up. Ignite is on him. Oh. He'll go down, but who cares? CLG lose the fight massively. That's going to be the dragon for sure for gravity. Up to double if all the... Hit on a well, cooldown. it's an 11.5 second cooldown, and it lasts for 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you can always have it shield up <laughs> unless you break it. All right. I'll take Spell shields the stun. Haunter gets rooted, but takes no damage, being Nautilus. Bunny Fuku looks for the taunt. He catches oh, double. Shockwave lands. Equals to buy a bit of time, but double goes down to Altec. Explosive cast doesn't do nearly enough. Where is it disengaged when Smithy needed it for the team? Afro goes down as a second kill. Altec 2 1 and 1. The chase continuing now for gravity. Oh man, that Sivir Shen combo to get him in place for Shockwave. Let's see what else they can get. Move looking to corner them. Wow, they just start Baron instead. Lay down the vision, try and uh, lay down the cover fire as well to keep Smithy at bay. Yeah. Bunny Fuku's gonna try and taunt him far away from the Baron to keep him out of range. Yeah, no flash for Smith. He can't get into range if he wants yep. to. Baron Got goes him. over to Keen, and now, whoa, why is CLG even there? Zion dies for nothing. Hey, when he gets uh, Smithy with the oh, oh, man. oh god, Aframu taunt lands again. Lulu will buy some time though. A really good equalizer. A shock over the backside and Pobelter goes down. Smithy's still barely alive. Altec dives for it. He gets the kill. Ignite is on him. Spell shield oh! doesn't mean anything. <laughs> But Altec's he survives it anyway. He's still up. He's life stealing. A double kill now for Keen. Four members out of CLG. Zion Spartan disengage was not enough. Bunny Poop with the only death of the fight. In comes the push. Barrier pop just because he can do it. And this is going to be the game. 14 to 3. A 27 minute victory. Gravity crushing counter logic gaming. Yeah. Taking the win in week six. Woo. Destroyed them there and pull ahead in the standings after that game. Yeah. Eight and three now. They are alone in second place. Team of the day gets Team Dignitas versus Team Eight. And Team Eight, last split. They yeah, and it didn't cost them much uh, CS at all. Yeah. Let's see if uh, they're able to punish the end, though. Kiwi Kid was. Oh! Ooh, Never flash mind. anchor, goodbye. First blood to Nian, teammate. To uh, Nasher's Tooth, we've seen just the full burst build. Helios trying to slink into the top lane. Kelly Trolls is sexy. Splash just goes for a trade. He's going to get jumped on first. He's still very far away from his teammate. Kelly Trolls can't get away in time. Good amount of damage from Helios and Gamsu. Get the kill. There's a million tunnels in the top jungle there that Corpus can constantly move to. There's one near the wolf camp, but that's it. Kali Trolls getting lower and lower against Gamsu. There's Evelyn. Kali Trolls just dies. Oh, as far as relevancy. Down. Yeah. Shadow oh. is available. All right, Shadow T used right away on a core JJ. And out goes the flash from Dota, but the taunt comes through. A late teleport from Kali Trolls does get finally canceled, but. Corpus trying to clear wards away. Helios nearby doesn't know about that. Oh, but Timbers wasn't going to stun. Fight means nothing. Nian, the force to run away as Core JJ dives in aggressively. Oh, no, no. shield used on a Q. Dodo is going to stun up Core JJ, but gets stunned back himself. Was on the wrong side of that fight entirely. Didn't know which way to go. Might even wait until Zonia's 
Oh, they might not wait much longer. Nice pull in. Porpoisewan forced to flash. Dodo takes oh. the anchor away, but two kills come through. Great chase for Team Dignitas. Threat number two in their sights will go down six to one in kills. Not. It looks like not a lot gained. A bit of damage with the front line. Helis wants to go in, lands a two man slow. Re engage the Mr. Shifter. Nice true shot barrage to the back line, and out goes Dignitas. In they go, rather, as they catch up to Dodo 8. He's going to flash away. Shield is on to stay alive, but Golden Glue losing a lot of health. And Shifter starting to pick up some kills. Kalich was running off the right hand side. The re engage comes in towards Helios, but no kills. A at for teammate Core JJ on the chase. Muramana active, gets the second kill of the fight. Team Dignitas look towards Baron. Yep, they just bide their time, mine the entire map, and uh, as soon as he's ready with the team fight item, able to take the team fight. There goes the flank in. Team Think Toss, pretty easy Baron as well on top of it. Looks like teammate are thinking about contesting. They do have a Rek'Sai who could attempt a suicide Baron steal. And Dignitas low on mana. Hey, he goes he's in gonna for go it. In. Oh no, the double smite's gonna work for Team Dignitas. The double smite gets the Baron. The kill goes through as Porpus dies as well. I think that is teammate calling it. Uh, they went for the desperation oh, play. Oh, Golden Blue. Not able to get Red it. Buff. He's out of mana too. Continue chasing. Huh. He gets the mana. Ooh. But in comes Shifter. Flash R gets the kill. Dig the toss, man. They play their game very slow. You can see 39 minutes, 41 seconds. I feel, they play I feel really like those slow. are really, yeah. I feel like those are definitely on the deep end. Righteous Glory activated on Kiwi Kid. He doesn't have Flash, so that's probably a kill there. All right, maybe a road in for teammate. They're still buffed by Cyberult for a few more seconds, but nothing else picked up. Just some time lost. Dragon's in a minute 40, and actually Helios a bit overextended as well. The Shenalty pop for this one. They do not want to chase through. They are afraid of Gamsu, who takes the front line. This is a 4v5. They just blow up Dodo. They're going to blow up Purpose as well. No fear from Team Dignitas. They're goldly too big to care. 9,000 up. Minions here for the Siege as well. That turret is going to go down. Now Shifter really wants in. Gets a bit of a slow in a Kali Trolls, but the stun in turret range makes him a bit more afraid. Top lane turret now under fire. Yeah. Certainly a very, very slow game for them. They are happy to play very methodical. Farm up forever. Saw the stat already, right? Yeah, Kali Trolls, though, just jumped on. When Dignitas wants to go in, they go in. 13th kill of the game. Credit goes over to Core JJ. He pops his QSS for nothing visual effects. It looks cool. I think he meant to trinket or something. I don't know. Or turn off Muramana. Sometimes you can miss like, doing that. Ooh. Wow, half HP. Golden Glue jumped on. Oh my god. Shifter is unstoppable. Takes him down. The chase continues. Healers in the front line. Core JJ now also unstoppable. Five kills for both. The dive on in. A double kill for Shifter. This could be the game winning push. Porpoise, the only man left alive, chooses to ult in melee range of himself. And that's going to be the Nexus turrets going down. Porpoise does not give away extra fantasy points. This will be the kill in 37 and a half minutes. Team Dignitas ties second place at the end of Saturday.